few short hours, the offices and corridors will come alive as faculty, staff and undergraduates fill the building with movement and energy. But to the graduate students, the natural cycle of day and night holds little meaning. Without the marketable skills or valuable connections of most college graduates, the chemistry graduate student turns to the mysterious and soul-consuming alchemy of his trade. The conversion of vile chemical substances and long strings of mathematical gibberish into precious publications. Under constant pressure to produce results, the graduate student has limited resources, and food is a crucial and expensive commodity. Fortunately, graduate students have evolved effective means of parasitic survival in the nurturing university environment. An email is received. Competition for the scraps left by faculty and administrators is intense. And only grad students at peak fitness can compete. Those who are too slow to respond will not reap the bounty. The scavenging cycle culminates in a pitched feeding frenzy. Participants know that this may be their only chance at free food for days to come. This scavenger has arrived too late and may not survive the meatless days to follow. Academia is indeed harsh and unforgiving. Nature's way of ensuring that only the strongest researchers will survive long enough to acquire a Princeton PhD. The constant struggle the graduate student faces for free food is intense, but there is another, more sinister threat to his survival. Researchicus ad Visicus, also known as Facultus Mentis and Scholasticus Dominus, is the graduate student's principal predator. At the apex of the departmental food chain, Advisicus is both cunning and ruthless, able to strike unexpectedly when the graduate student is least prepared. Despite being hopelessly outclassed, the graduate student has developed a means of defense. Under attack, the graduate student produces a protective layer of graphs and data to distract the predator. Then employs jargon and hand-waving to confuse. This student will escape to slack off on the internet for another day. Unfortunately, encounters with Advisicus do not always go well for the graduate student. Isolated encounters, away from witnesses and security cameras, are much more difficult for the graduate student to navigate safely. The outlook here is not good for our friend, the graduate student. It's a massacre. Details are difficult to discern as red fluid flies everywhere. Physicus is simply too well armed and too experienced in battle. The graduate student never stood a chance. It is unclear whether this graduate student will soon recover. Like his colleague, too slow to the feeding frenzy, he faces a grim and uncertain future.